Well, many schools don't have the budget to support extensive art programs, which means some students never get the chance to do things like sculpting or ceramics. But one organization is working to change that by taking its studio on the road to help mold young artists. And our Victoria Woodall explains. Over the pavement and through the doors, clay has been making its way into classrooms all over Philadelphia since 1994. Look out for this workshop on wheels called the Claymobile. On behalf of Clay Studio, a nonprofit organization and center for ceramic arts, who bring the instructors and all the supplies. So they'll walk into the classroom, and our Claymobile instructors will have set up some tables. They put canvas down on the tables. They sit down, and our instructors usually give them a brief overview: what is clay, where does it come from, and things like that. Um, and then they jump into a demonstration of whatever project the kids are going to create. So they watch the demo, and then we get right to work. And these fifth grade students from Moffat Elementary just couldn't wait to get their hands dirty. So clay is a unique medium in that it's very tactile and very hands-on. It's a little different than paper and pencil with drawing and things like that. Um, so I think it just gives them a new way of manipulating something and telling their own story. Today's lesson, name plates. You're going to write your name on a piece of clay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> can put it on my, at my, on my door at my mom's house. That surely will leave a mark. Actually, my birthday on Saturday. Well, now you'll have this to remember the week that you turned 11. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's my first day of being 11 in school. Memory made. Victoria Woodall, CBS3 Eyewitness News.